11 days until Election Day and the push for the polls getting stronger, especially with minority communities. CBS 47's Dennis Valera is live outside the Fresno County Elections Office. And Dennis, you talked with groups who say that there is a lot of excitement out there. Definitely, Catherine. The groups I talk to mainly deal with Southeast Asian and Hispanic communities. They tell me their young voters are really energized, but that energy, it's spilling over into other generations. Hopefully, they say turning into record turnout for November 6th. It's been call after call for staff in Hmong Innovating Politics Office. The organization, known as HIP, expanded into the Fresno area just last year, but already their outreach work much appreciated, since there hasn't been much outreach to engage voters from the Hmong and Asian Pacific Islander communities. Where there is a language barrier, we provide in-language assistance. Where there is lack of transportation, we are literally taking you know, 70 year old Hmong grandmas who are voting for the first time. The last several years, Mi Familia Vota has stepped up their outreach game. This year, the organization is working double time throughout the state. It looks to be working. Walking doors throughout Fresno County and, and Stanislaus County, all the way even to Orange County. Uh, people already um, have already started to receive their vote by mail ballot. Some of them have already you know, started turning them in. While getting voters out to the polls is the primary goal, both organizations say they won't stop after November 6th. We want to stay in the community, rooted in the community on issues that they care about beyond, um, you know, June or November. Now this year, election offices had six new election language assistance requirements. You're looking at printouts of some of the ones available in Fresno County. Now online at yourcentralvalley.com, I'm going to include exactly what languages are available in each county in our area. Live here in downtown Fresno, Dennis Valera, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.